Good afternoon. Welcome to Messiah's Sunday School Christmas program. It's exciting. It's exciting to be able to be here again after a hiatus that we had to take last year. And so it's nice to have all of you with us and uh, joining us this afternoon. And we will begin our program with a special prelude by uh, Bree Hendrickson.
of bells, white Christmas tree. days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and it was taken while Cornelius was the governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth to Galilee to Judah to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in the manger because there was no other place for him in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. But then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You you will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and laying in a manger. And suddenly there was with an angel of multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to the God in in the highest heaven and earth, peace among those who he favors. When the angels left and them gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child laying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known that what has been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. Just listen to them. It's all anybody talks about. Shopping, shopping, shopping. It's okay at first, but now it's making my parents cranky. And it's all my sister talks about. I want, I want, I want. It just doesn't seem right. 
And why not? Well, whose birthday is it anyway? When it's my birthday, I get the gifts. Christmas is Jesus' birthday. What does he get? Very little attention, I'm afraid. It makes me wonder, how did it get this way? Yeah. Why do we get so involved with the commercial side of Christmas that we forget its true meaning? Yeah, was it always this way? Oh, no. I remember a very special Christmas. Who are you two, anyway? We're, We're angels. angels. Yeah, right. And I'm Santa. <laughs> Don't you believe in angels? Yeah, but neither of you look like one. Don't tell me. You're expecting wings? Well, and a long white robe and halo. Uh, well, come on, it's 2021. But if it makes you more comfortable, we'll humor you in, with the halo. Better? Well, you really are angels, but why are you here? To show you something, to let you know that Christmas wasn't always like this. One very special Christmas long ago, Jesus was the center of attention. Even the friendly beast bestowed him with blessed tokens of love and adoption. That's angle touch talk for birthday presents. I knew that. Just come with us for a few moments and we'll show you.
Jesus, our brother, kind and good, was humbly born in a stable room, and the friendly beasts around him stood. Jesus, our brother, kind and good. I can't believe it. The Son of God was born right here in our stable. Mary and Joseph look so tired. My ache and hoof still hurt. The roads were rough and rocky, but we made it, and just in time. Did you hear? His, his name is Jesus. Poor little thing. It needs a place to sleep. Yeah. Cows, come here. Let's move out of the way. And all for our manger. It's getting cold. Baby Jesus is shivering. We need to do something. What can we give him? We can make a blanket for We can make a blanket with a wall. Here, take mine. But won't we get cold? We'll be all right. We have each other to keep us warm. We can take care of baby Jesus and cover him in this blanket. Go to sleep, baby Jesus. Oh no, I think he's gonna cry. They need the rest after the journey and the baby's bed. What can we do? We're only doves. I'll cool very softly until he falls asleep.
What did you learn from the friendly beast? That it's Jesus' birthday and we all have something to give him. Even today? Yes, especially today. Everyone can give him something. We just have to figure out what that is. We, we couldn't, couldn't have, have said, said it better ourselves. ourselves. We should always remember whose birthday it is when we celebrate Christmas. Yeah. 